Hey everybody, it's Peekaboo. I wanted to do a quick video chat. I want to try and do this as often as I can because I appreciate you all so much. Your comments and questions are funny and all over the board. Um, I've picked some of my favorites that I want to answer. The first one is from a Sam Roberts and he asked me if I ski in the backcountry too. I do, of course. You know, when you ski the ski slopes as much as we have, you start looking for other adventures. So the backcountry is a spot for me. However, it is a little intimidating, so I make sure to take my classes and, and you know, bone up on, on all the backcountry avalanche stuff every year before I go out because it is a scary spot, but I think that's part of the reason why I like it. I guess you're probably out there too. Happy trails this winter. Thanks for writing in, Sam. All right, the next one is from... Uh, vale Ashley, and she said, I enjoyed growing up in the valley and racing in the Kinder Cup. Take me back, girl. That's awesome. I, of course, loved growing up in Sun Valley. It was an amazing place to grow up, and I was lucky enough to, to grow up there and become a skier, and the Kinder Cup was where it all started for me. In fact, I missed the Kinder Cup the first year I skied, and when it happened and I wasn't in the race that year, that's when the whole juices started flowing for me and my competitiveness for skiing. It was the Kinder Cup, so... Thanks for bringing me back on that one there, Vale Ashley. Um, the next one is from Jim Goodrich, and he says that he thinks that skiers can dance as well. Well, skiing is a pretty dynamic sport. I do not pride myself on being a great dancer. However, I did learn how to do the wobbly just Saturday at Six Flags with my two older boys. So you never know. Uh, Dancing with the Stars is... Definitely uh, on my agenda if they all take me. Um, we'll see what happens. I don't know. I've heard Apollo Ono and Layla Ali personally tell me it's the most difficult thing they've done in their life. So I'm raising four boys. I'm not sure that anything's more difficult than that, but maybe I'll give it a shot. We'll see, Jim. Thanks for writing in. So the next one is from uh, Dan Fry. Um, and he asked me if I didn't ski, what, I, what do you think I would become? Well, Dan, let me just tell you, I've been a tomboy from the get-go. I grew up in a very, very um, boy-type atmosphere with my brother and, and uh, seven other guys in the community I grew up in. So I was inevitably a tomboy. I would have been an athlete no matter what. I, I happened to grow up in a, in a snowy environment, and skiing it is. And... Um, I think that the thing, if I could have anything more in my life than I have now, it would just be more young play, pretend like I'm the kid time. And luckily I have four kids that allow me to do that, but I think we all want to be young again. It's not so fun to grow up and be responsible. It's kind of a burden. So more play time and laughing with my kids, but I just have to choose to do that because it's right at my fingertips. Thanks, Dan. So let's see. The next one is Thomas Buckingham and... Uh, no, hang on. Let's go Sandy Hauer Schnorr. She has a great one. Let's see. She asked me, who is the greatest female ski racer of all time? Well, I'm sure, of course, you're expecting me to say myself, but no. Let me just say that that's like beauty. It's in the eye of the beholder, okay? So for me, it'll always be Tamara McKinney. She's the cat's meow. But you look at Anna Marie moser Perel and her records that still stand today. You look at Vernie Schneider and some of the, the records she still has. And then you look at Lindsay, our Lindsay. Okay, she's nine races away from being able to have that title. I'm not going to give it to her until she's got it. But my money's on her, and I hope that we can call a fellow an American um, the greatest female skier ever. And so go, Lindsay, go. I'm on, I'm on Team Lindsay, so my money's on her to, to win that one. So, um, thank you everybody for writing in. This is really awesome to read all your questions and know what you're thinking. I want to encourage you to um, sign up Launchpad Gear Contest. Okay, because today it's a Shutterfly gift certificate. Wednesday we have a Walmart gift certificate. And then on Friday I have a signed bib that I wore and raced in as our winning, as our winning piece. So, sign up, share, and um, good luck.